need to bribe to not have to do this. <laughs> My name is Jerem Call. Sorry, I'm heavily nervous. Um, I'm in the tat. Embarrassing, I should have gone to the bathroom before this. <laughs> I'm in the tax department and I've been there for um, three and a half years. I was at Pricewaterhouse Coopers before that and for five years. I grew up in Wong, in Star Valley, Wyoming. It's a, it's a great place, but I you don't have like a Walmart there, and, uh, uh, a Home Depot. Awesome. So you had to be kind of inventive if you had it. You had to be kind of inventive to get things to work and to make projects work. And, Justin, can I? No, you know what? Dang it. I can do this. I promised myself I was going to do this. I'm sorry. We had to be quite inventive in, in, in Wyoming. So, what I want to do is share with you three projects I've done recently that are inventive. The first one is a software engineering project. The second one is a make, make an electrical engineering project. The third one it's a mechanical engineering project. You know what? It's embarrassing, but I should throw it up there. Um, first one. In the tax world, we have, it's all about the tax law. Sections. You might hear somebody say, under section 708 of the Internal Revenue Code, there was a technical termination of the partnership. And then under section 83, they had to report some income on their admission to the new partnership. 708, 83, what is all that garbage? So I got thinking, wouldn't it be great if I had a computer program? They could quiz me on this stuff. Ask me a question, give me a few choices, and let me study it. Figure it out. And actually, what people are thinking, wouldn't it be a lot better if I could study it, maybe while I'm relaxed, while I'm going to sleep even, or while I'm riding my bike, or driving my car? You certainly don't want me driving my car and reaching over trying to answer the question, and kaboom! I just rear-ended you or started a six-car pile up. You know, that's no good. So you need the remote keypad. And then, still though, you're driving the car and looking over section 83 and it ought, to, it ought to speak to you. Section 83. Look at this pad. Oh, because it's not turned on. <laughs> and then, you still don't want to be reading the answer. <laughs> you know, is it number one? Is it number two? So maybe you push the plus pad, plus button on the keypad. You can scroll through and read them to you. Answer one, transfer of appreciated property to political organization. You never have to look at the screen. And then it'd be nice if it would tell you. You push the enter key, enter key and it tells you if you got the answer right. If not, you let's try again. Incorrect. Right. Scroll the next question. Answer two, property transferred in connection with performance of services. That is section 83. You push enter, it says correct, and move on to the next question. Correct. Section 84. A lot of fun. I used it a lot, and it actually helped a whole bunch. I really got really familiar with the tax law. That is my software engineering project. Electrical engineering project. I drive a 1988 Honda Accord. Over a period of about 10 months, approximately one year ago, my car was stolen. Twice. A 25 year old <laughs> rust bucket with 260,000 miles stolen. Twice. And I was sick of it. I love that car. So now I have this button. It is actually a Honda button. You would not know it doesn't go there. This button is connected to the fuse box and then wired into the circuit that controls the fuel injectors. If this button is turned off, 
the fuel injectors will not push an ounce of fuel into the engine. Thieves can break in there and hack the ignition and crank it 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 and it will not start. Push that button, crank the key, start up and you're off. My car has not been stolen again. It will not get stolen again unless one of you guys steal it. <laughs> Software engineering, electrical engineering, and now mechanical engineering. You've got a Toastmaster speech coming up. You're nervous. You need to <laughs> find a way to make it work. You need a good, you need a good attention grab. What better than to wet your pants in front of the crowd? <laughs> That's me, Jerome Cobb. Five, ten, fifteen years from now, you might sit back and think, Jerome Cobb is smart. I'll never mention here anything. More likely, you're going to look back and go, Jerome Cobb, what an idiot. He wet his pants in Toastmasters. Thank you.